Today I'm going to be bringing you my top 5 moments in One Piece. Coming in at number 5 is Luffy vs. the Pacifista after 2 years of training. Now Luffy was trained by the Vice Captain of the Roger Pirates, Silver and Rayleigh. This was very hyped up. We wanted to know how strong they had become and we wanted to know more about the Straw Hat improvement. But mainly, we were interested in three in one man, Monkey D. Luffy, the main character. We wanted to see how much stronger he was, and how he came in and one-shotted the Pacifista that nearly took down the entire crew, not just the Monster Trio, but the entire crew, pre time gift. He comes in, gear second, and without breaking a quest. He takes it out in one punch. That was so hype, and I just, I loved that moment. One of my favorite moments in all of One Piece. Coming in at number four, Luffy and Ace versus the Marines. Now, I know what you're all probably thinking. What the hell? <laughs> now, let me explain. <laughs> the reason this is on the list is because of how much time it took to save Ace. How many arcs. Amazon Lily. We, it, it was started out in Amazon Lily. We went through Impel Down, through all of Marine Ford to save Ace. That was years worth of material. And then Ace is finally free. And we get to see Luffy flying alongside the brother that he loves against the Navy, which I loved. I loved that. And in, in the anime and the manga, the fight is amazing. It is done beautifully, the combination attack you're doing. My personal favorite one is when Ace pushes Luffy's head down and the sword goes through him because he's made a fire. He jumps up and does the fire fit. I love that. Really well done. But again, yeah, so coming in at number four, so my personal favorite moment would have to be Ace and Luffy versus the Marines. Coming in at number two, I don't even need to explain why, is Robin's I Want to Live moment. This moment was done amazingly, manga, anime, specials, wherever you watch it, it's always done very well. But, but one thing I like about the moment is the build up to it, how Luffy declared war on the government. How Luffy did all these things and he, sprayed, and he does it again, the same thing he did in every single arc before this. He rush, he's not willing to help until Robin says she wants to help by admitting that she doesn't want to die. Which I loved. So he literally just yells to Robin, tell me you want to live so I can, which is a pretty much take way of saying, ask me for help. She, she want, and when the second Robin says, I want to live, Luffy, you would see. He's like, yes. Yes. And then he's like, and he goes, and then the Straw Hats take on CP9. And this is like one of my favorite arcs in the entire series. So that also part, part of it. But all of these arcs are my favorites. But I, I love this moment. I watch it relatively often. It, it's really good. Coming in at number two is, of course, Zoro's Sacrifice and Thriller Bark. This moment. It's so good. So well done. So amazing. The pa If you look online, you can see comparison between the two moments. In the beginning of the series, Laurel kind of makes fun of it. He openly said, you're always rambling on about becoming a pirate king. And this entire sequence where Laurel looked at Kuma and said, Luffy going to be the pirate king. He just flat out said it like it's a fact. It's not like something he thinks is going to happen. No, he said it as if it's fact. Which alone is already epic. And then of course you have Kuma say to Zoro. You can take in all of his pain and plus your own and give your own life. And I will allow Straw Hat to live. And Zoro is straight up like, okay. He's like, I die, I don't care if I go in, I don't care if that I die, as long as Luffy lives and achieves his dream. Which is amazingly handled. Amazingly handled. 
And then of course, you had that one, you had, after he takes it off his head, you have the scene where Sanji is freaking out about all the blood. And he's like, what the hell happened? Why are there so much blood? What is going on? And Zoro, straight face, looks at Sanji and says, nothing happened. Nothing at all. No, no word can describe how much I love this scene and how often I rewatch it. Coming in at number one is not even a contest. Luffy punches the Celestial Dragon. Let's all be honest, who didn't want to punch the Celestial Dragon? Who didn't want somebody to kill that guy? No legitimately, I wanted that guy to die on the spot. I honestly was a little annoyed Luffy didn't kill the guy. Because, but seeing Luffy just walk up to that, that piece of garbage and just punch him right in the face. Was amazing. I mean, there, I mean, it was in the anime. It was done beautifully. I go on the animation for that scene was amazing. It was so fluid. It was beautifully done. It was really beautiful. And just the amount of satisfaction you felt as a reader or or I guess a watcher in the case of the anime. <laughs> But the amount of satisfaction you felt when you saw the guy, like, his face bleeding from Luffy punching him. The amount of satisfaction you felt when you, satisfaction you felt when you saw Luffy punch him. It's incredible. Because let's all be honest, that guy was a complete asshole. Let's be honest here. He was a tyler, he was so annoying. So, he makes you so angry. And seeing him just get punched in the face with great. And it makes it even better because you know the consequences. You know an admiral is going to come. You know they can't beat an admiral. You know that. But Luffy does it anyway. And they just... And he still punches him right in the face. And I'm fanboy. I'm gonna love the moment so much. I can't be critical about it. It's one of my, fa it's my favorite moment of all of One Piece. I love it. But guys, that is my favorite moment of all of One Piece. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like comment and subscribe for more videos and tell me your favorite moments in one piece in the comments section down below and remember above all else to have a great day guys this is one piece nation signing out